Live and direct, he's back with, along with King Lorenzo. Greatness. More greatness coming. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, do. Wow, massive. Today, today, today we have a great gift. We have the great gift. It's called life. So you can't say you have nothing. Can't say you have nothing. You have life. That's what most of us. You know what's the leading cause of death? What's the leading cause of death? It's life. It's not 
uh, HIV or war or anything like that. Like TJD says in one of his songs, the cause of death, the cause of death is life because we don't live our life. And the reason why we don't live our life is very simple. It's because we don't stretch outside our comfort zone. And everything we want is outside our comfort zone. And that's a message, especially for the young people, including my son. <laughs> you know, you got to stretch outside your comfort zone. You got to put yourself uncomfortable in life. You got to crawl through freaking shit to discover who you are. If you want to know who you really are, look, you got to go through some some hard times in life. You gotta, you get, you know, you, you gotta go. Like if you're uh, at uh, around your twenties or something like that, go work in a shop. Go work in a shop a bit. You know, go work in a shop. Go sweat. Go sweat your ass. Go sweat a bit in a shop. Go sweat in a sweat shop for uh, ten years, and then come out of there. And you, you know, this is what build the, the 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 what i am today is the experience i had in life i always like i told you in any jobs that i had i, I was always researching the next level of greatness and i was never settling for crumbs in the company so you gotta make sure that if you you know you don't approach life Lou, with the in a timid way Lou. we gotta charge life we have to charge this life. This is what we have to do. And we have to charge this life starting young. You cannot, like, okay, I always been a charger. Always been a charger. That's been in me. You know, like, my circumstances are what they are, but it's what I'm made of. If I wouldn't be made of what I made inside, like, I don't know what I'm made of, but I'm not cut from a different thought. It's not that. It's just I don't let, I have drive. I have that drive inside. And that's what Kim told me. She said, Yannick, you just have that drive inside you. He said, she said, you're a charger. She said, it's the mindset. And some people don't have that, mind, that mindset, so you have to acquire it. You know, it's possible to acquire a different mindset. You don't have to be to be stuck on the same mindset all your life. But it's the mindset. If your mindset is set to action, you're going to take action all your life. It might be in the comfort zone, but at one point, you're going to want to stretch out that comfort zone because it's getting too comfortable. You're going to end that's going to look what, what I did. All I all this was meant to happen because I put myself outside my comfort always in any jobs that I had. So now I said I'm going to go on YouTube and be uncomfortable a bit more. A new experience, it's YouTube, and I love it. I love it because it made it made me not discover who I was, but it made me realize who I was. It made me realize that I had to take out that mask. I had to start being true to myself. I had to start being true to myself and not be silent. Because this is the fount of the, the fount of that shit stem is our silence. You know, it's not only, and the reason why I say the the the, the, the system of slavery, you know, of baby, let's call it for what it is. It's because we don't take ownership for our life. The moment all of us gonna start to be dreamers and take ownership for ownership, 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 <laughs> ownership for our life. Not ownership, but ownership. When we're going to take ownership for our life and uh, start designing in the life that we deserve, that we all deserve, you know, deserve more uh, out of life. You don't have to feel guilty for wanting more, wanting to become more, wanting to. And again, it's for sure, if you put yourself uncomfortable, you're going to grow. You're going to grow, but do you want to grow? This is the question. This is the question you got to ask yourself. Do you want to grow? Because if you want to grow, you're going to do things to grow. But, you know, it's that mindset. I'm telling you, the mindset is very, very important. And if you don't have that mindset of a charger, it's possible also to acquire it. You don't have to stay. Uh, uh, I don't think there's losers. I think there's just people that haven't discovered how to win. There's winners and there's people people that haven't discovered how to win because we're not here to lose. Life don't want you to lose, so there's no losers. It's just you put yourself in a position where suddenly you're very comfortable in your uncomfortably numb state and uh, you don't move out of there. But you get, you know, you, you get it first of all, build some character, build some strength, especially if you're young. You got to go in Babylon and really, really 
uh, face the world and work and work, work your ass off. You know, like if you're 20, like my son, go and work your ass off in shops and shit like that and really stretch outside. And I told, I told Sam all that stuff. He knows that I told him. And that's what, ne that's what is necessary to do. But are we all doing what's necessary or we do what's comfortable? That's a question also. We know what's necessary for us to expand, to grow, to become more, to this, to that, but we, we stay on pause and we don't want to, we don't, sometimes we, I don't know, it's fear of success or sometimes it's also uh, like the surroundings that we have can hold us back. The surroundings that we have, if we don't break free from that, can hold us back. So it's important to give yourself the chance because if you, I'm telling you, Give yourself the chance, like Cindy is doing. She's going uh, to Kujuak. To, to, she was uh, she's here often, Cindy, and she's going to uh, Kujuak to get in touch with her dream. You know, it's never too late. It's never too late, and you're gonna be glad you did it. It's gonna be hard for sure. You're gonna have to work. Like she's gonna have to work like fucking crazy in Kujuak and pile money, pile money, and then come back to the place where she wants to go and settle down and have her uh, work on her dream and you know that's the you know the, you gotta have goals you gotta have goals and that will keep you alive whether it's a dream or goals or whatever it is in your life we have to stay alive and to stay alive means we have to move out of our comfort zone we cannot stay alive we and we have a great gift we have a great people say oh i don't have the resources don't have this you have life that's all you need, all you need to grow, all you need to expand, all you ever, ever freaking need is here, is life. But that's the main cause of, that's the leading cause of death, life, because we don't live it. We exist, we do our thing, we work, we do this, we do that, but you know, never to design the, the, the thing is to have a living soul. You know, you want to have something that inspire others. You want to, so for that, you got to, first of all, you, you got to have experience with life. You got to have experience with life and those experience with life will bring you wisdom and that wisdom will bring you clarity. All this will come by taking action but if you stay in your numb in your comfort zone in your the things that you already know how to master what what can you what, what are you how, how, how are you ever gonna grow so you know you gotta master some stuff that you never mastered before in, in order to grow and for that come on me it's a stretching big time every time i come here <laughs> Yes, it's comfortable, but what's uncomfortable do it, doing this is that uh, I'm live and direct on YouTube. I'm live and direct on YouTube, and I got to make sure, like, and I, I don't care what people think of me, but it's what I think of myself. It's very important when I want to, you know, it's a, it's a natural process, yes, but I have still, it's a, like, some kind of test of pride, the life, the, that's what it is. The, or, you know, you got to take pride in the, in your life, in being alive. I don't think that, that, we, that we don't give thanks for. We're ungrateful with life. Ungrateful with life because we don't give thanks for life. We don't uh, give thanks for life at the level where we give back to to humanity and to uh, and you live for others and you know you get to, to, to find out that the reason why you're here and stuff like that so if you want to get in contact with this uh, with this great vibration that i'm talking all the time it's important that you you put yourself uncomfortable but this is what most of us won't do because it's but if you don't do it, if you don't do it, you're going to be sorry at the end. You're going to live with regret. Do you want to live with regret? Like I didn't want to live with regret. So the moment I had that idea, that I had that idea, first the tragedy happening, then all the stuff. Then I suddenly, oh, I had an idea, Motivation Academy. I, and I said to myself that day, I said, if I let go of that idea, I might regret it in a year, in a year or two. What I did, I just did it. I just went into action. I said, I'm going to start on YouTube. And I did not have any training, any skills, nothing. Like the skills, it's something you develop over time. But you know what I had? 
And I always have is the mindset and the freaking art. And that I have it big time. That I have it big time and the consist and the drive and the fire and that can that only that only will make me survive. Will will save my soul not to be devoured by the crocodiles and sharks and Babylon and the illusionists and the so you know, it's your choice. It's your choice. After all, what you do with your life, I'm not here to tell you what you do. And even if I bring you to to, to the water, doesn't mean you're going to drink it. So it's all up to you. It's you versus you. It's me versus me. It's all. That's what we have to. Bonjour, bonjour, Red Rose. Bonjour, Red Rose. We're alive by God's grace. Exactly. Exactly. We're alive. It's a gift. It's a, and that's, you know, I've never really seen it that way that, Today, I give thanks so much. I don't know if it's because of the tragedy that happened to me that suddenly I've kind of realized I was alive. But it's mostly, uh, I think, I think it's really the, 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 the drive and the charge that I have naturally inside me that, uh, like, I couldn't, like, when I got up from work, I couldn't stay, do nothing. I couldn't do nothing. Like, this is me. I always, like, I all, I'm always very active with what i can do now today but i mean i stay i want to stay active and this is very important also to stay active you know as we uh i don't know we have pains and stuff to deal with but it's important to remain active like this is what i said i said i'm not gonna start sitting on the couch and be just watch movies and tv no i'm gonna be active i'm gonna go out in the world and check uh, the jungle uh, anyway why should i hide uh, why we hide there's nothing to hide uh, you can't run away i can't go and i'm stuck here anyway so i'm gonna make everything to free myself from that oppression outside of me and oppression self-oppression also because that's the most uh, potent one and the moment you decide to to free yourself to free yourself it's you know personal freedom uh, that's what i'm talking about it's important also and uh, it's attainable but it's, it's, do you really want it me i really want it me i really want it i want to feel i want to feel the the, the i know life is bigger than my life i tell you all the time and i know i have a great gift i have everything needed everything needed that I'm built to perfection. The body's built, crafted to perfection. I'm here for a great mission. I know it. Today, I know it more than ever. I knew young. I knew young I was going to do. And what I'm telling you here, Le, what I'm telling you here, Le, stuff I'm telling you that I, I, sometimes I have flash of when I was younger and I really had, I, it's like I can almost go back to when I had those flash and feel that sensation i don't know how you call this but if you can time travel like this go back to your past and really remember memories or flash that you had back then like i have some time flash at nine ten years old that i was sensing something not right around me but you're way too young you know to uh, start questioning stuff but i was sensing stuff that there was something i the moment I started to, to grow a little bit out my infancy, I was able to sense something. But uh, today, I, I, I know that's why I'm telling you I, I, it's normal to do this for me because I, I came here for that. I came here for that. I came to hurt for that. I came to hurt for a reason. I'm here for a reason. And I'm going to find out that reason. <laughs> I'm going to find out that reason until I have no... If I have to, to, to go through my... All the, the the fears and tribulation to get there. I don't care how bad it gets. I'm going to fucking discover why I'm here. And the reason why. I, I'm willing to, to go to. Uh, yeah, for sure. Because the, this is my life. This is your life. It's not a joke. It's like me. Every day that passed by. Uh, it's a divine. Every moment. Me. Every. Look. This is what also living in the moment will bring you. Is that, that vitality. That great vibe to be. To be able to enjoy, to enjoy life, not enjoy, but enjoy life in every day, every moment. You see magic, you see mystery, like it's especially since I don't listen to that nonsense outside. I find life, I find life so mysterious. And not only that, magic, magical, because if you cannot even read, like, you know, that the lies goes deep, but people 
even goes deep, it's so obvious at the same time because even me telling you that the wall is blue is a lie. Because who says that it's blue? Who says blue is blue? That's a definition. You know, so every if you cannot grasp the idea that when I tell you the asphalt is black and it's a lie, <laughs> when I tell you that anything because it's a definition, so who says what is what? That's why who says Friday, who says it's Friday, who says it's Thursday, Wednesday, you know? So all this is definition and it takes off the mystery and the magic of life. Like, uh, do you want to have mystery in your life? Do you want to have a defined life or you want to define yourself? I think everything is undefinable, undefinable, and that brings you the magic back in your life. But if you don't want to find magic and find greatness and find the, the reason why you're here, you, you can stay plugged on TV and we'll eat popcorn and drink beer. I can do nothing for you. Like, fuck. It's simple and clear that... Uh, me, I, the, this is the thing, is that we're so, so distracted, so distracted with our life mission, so because we all have a great, great mission, you're, uh, none of us, your mission might not be the, the same as me, and that's okay, we all have our things to do, but do it, do it, you know, do something to make this world a better place, we're all, that the world, the world needs us, it's not because we're, we're condemned to, to, to freaking lose with any action we take, life wants us to win, life wants me to win, Look, I'll, I'll, I don't like to use the word blessed because I don't want to be less. I want to be more. But uh, I'm very, very fortunate to, to, to be able to do this. And uh, I give thanks a lot the, through the pain and tribulations. And uh, Cindy is there. Hello, Cindy. I was just talking about you before. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's the, just to have the strength to go through the, the pain and tribulations and show up here each and every day. I give thanks so much, so much for life, so much for life. And I love you all so much. You're so great. You're, you're so uh, present, uh, like all of you, all of you girls here. But there's uh, Martin aussi qui est pas mal tout le temps ici. And not only uh, girls, but, uh, you know, it's a great energy. It's a great, great energy. And we're creating a great, uh, a great, a massive energy here. Even if it's just us, uh, 10, 12 people coming here live and direct, but others are watching it after probably. But, you know, just that vibe is very, very divine. It's a very divine thing. It's very, I'm starting to realize more and more how divine it is that what we're doing and not only me it's not about not it's not what i'm doing it's what we're doing because we're doing we're doing this together here you know, I, I don't count me in the equation i'm there i'm talking i'm speaking but without you i don't have that strength without you know without you girls you know, showing up here every day like that in the chat it's massive you know? it's massive you give me so much energy so much uh, you know it's and because why? Because why? Because we're dedicated to, to something else and an illusion in our life. And we want to have me. I want to be more grounded, more, more connected with people, more uh, connected with the world, more. And I want to feel it. I want to feel it. I just don't want to talk. Just talk about it. I want to feel it. So I come and connect with you here every day. It's like uh, Kim, Kim was saying to me, she said, it's like a coaching session you're doing. I said, yeah, it's a coaching session maybe every, every day. You know? And I think everyone needs coaching. Everyone needs coaching. Everyone. Uh, a coach in your life is a must. Uh, I have coaches in my life. I have reggae singer that coach me and, you know, through music. Through, but it's important to find someone that you get inspired by. And you can, uh, you, you can find at one point, you know, it's just to, to break the cage open and let the bird fly. Let the bird break the cage open and let the bird fly. The bird wants to fly. The bird in you wants to fly, but you keep it in a cage. So free the bird, free the bird and let it fly. Let it fly. That's what it needs. You know, we need to spread our wings. We're here to, 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 to experience life. We're not here to, to settle down and say, oh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to wait. You know, that we waste you mankind wastes so much time so much time wasted even though time doesn't exist but it kind of exists it kind of exists in the way because there's day and night day and night and it goes on and so but we're always in the now you like you gotta live in the moment but i'm not dismissing that the there will be a tomorrow the sun will go down and tomorrow will come and you know this is 
But you can't really go back. You can't fast forward and you can go on reverse. And most of us are on reverse ending up in the hearse. So do you want to end up in the Babylon hearse or you, you press play with life? You press play and you stay in the moment. You stay in the moment and you give thanks for life. You be grateful with life and great stuff are going to come your way. And it's not necessarily, like I say, uh, instant gratification. It's not so much about... I don't know, that camera a problem with it. It's not so much about instant gratification because, because if it's what you're waiting for to have something right away on the silver plate, it's not going to happen. And most young people, like I was talking at the beginning, uh, that's what they expect. They, they, they want they want uh, cash. They want money. Eh? When they start uh, moving into Babylon, uh, having their... They want money. They, 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 they see a good pay and this and that. And that's what makes you lose the interest of building a dream, of building a living soul, because they bring you into the, the worker uh, realm of Babylon. And then you start making money, 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 another job. And, and you, you get into that rhythm. And then you forget about creating a living soul. And that's a spiritual suicide right there. That's where it starts. So don't let a spiritual suicide happen to you. You know, you got to work. If I, if you're young, you know, go go work in a sweatshop. You know, go crawl through shit. Call if you because you know most of us you know, never really uh, put hard stuff in front of us. So if we do it, we're gonna grow a great deal from that. Like uh, Cindy is doing, you know, going to Kujwak you know, to, to work in an hospital. You know, that that's uh, something. You know, she's stretching big time and she's leaving her family, her son. But she's gonna come back here and there. But you know, she it's a stretch, it's a stretch, it's something big, and she's probably one of the biggest moves of her life. Probably one of the biggest moves of her life. So it's a very uh, but it's gonna make is it not gonna make you feel alive? Like, come on. Just to go after stuff some sometimes it's just because, like I said, it's the mindset. We don't have we don't think we have what what's necessary, but we have all it needs. We have life. What else do you need? What else do you need? You just got to trust yourself. You have life. If you have life, you're alive, you're breathing, and you trust yourself. What can happen? Life wants you to win. Go in action. Go in action. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. You know, don't be afraid. The world's waiting for you. The world is waiting for us. There's nothing to hide. You shouldn't hide. We hide all comfortably uh, numb in our palace. Then move out your palace. It's happening outside in the world. But me, I'm moving out my palace a bit. I'm on. Uh, that's what I can do uh, with what I can do. I'm not very mobile, so don't expect me to go run Babylon, uh, trot Babylon all day long. Uh, I do it from the comfort of my own because of my injury. So it's very important. Like uh, here, I at least I have the comfort of my chair, and this more comfortable than at my chilling spot. Sometime on my chair, it's here. I can do a bit longer because uh, exactly it's look. There's a certain the, what happened to me is what happened to me. I can do nothing. I gotta deal with it, and I deal with it. I'm totally scared. Yeah, but don't be scared. By it's normal to be scared. It's normal to be scared. But uh, as you, as you know, as you're gonna go on, as you're gonna go on, the, the, the fear will dissipate. The fear will dissipate, and it's gonna be another feeling. It's gonna be a feeling that you're gonna feel in charge. You're gonna feel in charge, and you know you don't have to live large to feel like a man or a woman in charge. But at one point, you're going to feel in charge. You're going to feel like, because it's just, first of all, the, the, like it's the, the the voices inside your head, Cindy. That's all it is. The two versus you, and it's voices inside your head because you have everything you need to be great, to do great, to do magnificent, to create a magnificent life. Yeah, same as me. We have the same biological equipment. We're not, we have the same blood running through our vein. I might have a different uh, look or different stuff but you know they, they, we have the same uh, blood same blood so we all have the same stuff so it's just i think the mind the mindset is something also to work on ourselves to really get that amazing confidence then not to fall into arrogance like i said don't become arrogant with life life is us then. life is us like when i say life i like to refer to life because i talk about us i talk this is life you know the, it's us the people so if you're arrogant with people, you know, me, that's one thing. Uh, I will always remain, remain extremely polite here because I know it's the key to connect to people. You cannot be uh, 
like an arrogant son of a bitch if you want to get to the heart of people. So you have to remain polite. You have to remain, uh, you know, it's very important, these things. And don't be scared. I, too, had to go away to get the music job done, and many resented that. Been rough. Still healing, yeah. We'll sing again for the masses this time, loud and proud, for God pulled me through. No, he will. He will. You know, this is what I'm saying, but it's hard sometimes just to acquire the mindset to think that life wants us to win. You know, me, I, I, I cultivate that mindset each and every day. Each and every day I cultivate that mindset, so I'm staying sharp. I want to stay sharp. I don't want to fall back into the nonsense, into distraction, because me the nonsense is the distraction and this is what we love we love sometimes a bit of distraction this until you completely purge it they completely purge it you will and that i'm talking about tvs and shit and all that stuff learn, that you really really focus on finding out why you're here and designing a living soul is this you know it's very it's something that and the living soul again it's not necessarily doing what i do it's a you know, create, leave a legacy behind, leave something behind. We don't want to pass just like leaf in the wind. And that's not my goal to be here like a leaf in the wind. And uh, like, a, no, no, no. I stand strong. And that's what we got to do. We got to stand strong within ourselves. But most of us are very, very fragile, very fragile, very, uh, as soon as a bit of tribulation happen, oh, we're going to get, no, you got to stand strong. For sure, le, you need to be strong. Le. You need to strengthen your mind. Only that can save you. Told you. Strength your, strengthen, strengthen your mind. Uplift time, baby. Yeah, man. I'm too scary, apparently, because awake, I guess it scares them. Though little old me. <laughs> really, I'm shy and Virgo just want justice and remedy for all. Nice ambient light today, Janik. Yeah, I know. I uh, yeah, I put a light uh, behind before. Uh, I said, "Oh, we're gonna make a little bit uh, more." I'm gonna bring a. I'm gonna get a big plant. I thought of it. I'm gonna get a big palm tree to put in the corner. We're gonna modify the and that wall. I'm gonna paint it green too. I'm gonna change the color soon. <laughs> we're gonna have a new decor. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make it more. Uh, I'm gonna change a bit the. The decor soon. One day you're gonna come and up. Oh, wall is green. <laughs> Everything's gonna be changed. But uh, I like change. I like change. I like uh, you know. It's important to. Uh, but we have to induce it that change because if we don't, it's not gonna happen. Have you ever think of that? Yeah. Yes, indeed, uplift, no negative anymore. No, no, we, you know, it's just to, it's very important in the world that is very, very negative around us that we strengthen our mind to stay positive. And that positivity, you will conquer yourself like freaking crazy. And who conquers himself is mighty. You want to become mighty. You want to be mighty not to conquer the world. My goal is not to conquer the world, but I would like to know deeply within me everything that's in my art everything that i can give to the world everything i want to exteriorize i'm already very extraverti i'm already very extraverti but i want to become it more i want to be open my art more i want to feel life more feel you guys more feel and connect more and uh, stuff like that so it's very uh, very empowering. It's a very positive vibe. It's a very positive vibe. Me, it makes me feel awesome. Uh, every day that I add, a, it's just a communion with life. It's a communion with life. It's a, I just, I don't know, just give thanks. I'm very, uh, very uh, happy, very grateful, very grateful to be alive, very grateful for life, very, I've always been, but Never really give a uh, super uh, get thanks, but and uh, now it's just to another level. And it's just also you want to level up also at one point. Eh? You want to level up to your uh, capacity, to your to your potential, to your potential. We all have potential. We all have an immense potential. But are we all bringing it, bringing it, bringing it out? <laughs> Are we all going forward with our potential, or sometimes we stay a bit dormant with it? I think we stay a bit dormant with our potential. Yeah, yeah. Because most of us as you know, <laughs> if I feel the stuff I feel, uh, 
Uh, come on, you're not. Uh, you might have different. You know what differentiates us? Not much. <laughs> not much to me. I don't see much difference. But it's just the 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 solution, the 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 solution that we take in life, the the drive and the the mindset. It's just what differentiates us because we're all pretty much built for greatness. We're all winners. We're all none of us is loser. We just you just there's slow learners. There's people that are brainwashed. But come on, we all have a. We're all very divine. What I feel, everybody can feel it. It's not. It's not just. It does. Okay, maybe, maybe many are called, few are chosen, but I don't think so. I think everyone is called. I think everyone is called. It's just everyone is sleeping. No one answered a call. No one answered. Everyone is called to action. Uh, come on, uh, what is just some of us? Uh, he have made a conditional thing. It's just some of us. No, we're all called. So that that's bullshit. Many are. Few are many are called, few are chosen. That's bullshit because we're all chosen one, uh, each and every one of us. So, you know, we're programmed with a lot of bullshit. They tell you everywhere, oh, many are called, few are chosen. That's bullshit. We're all freaking chosen one. Wake the fuck up. That's all you need. You need to wake up and realize who you are. But we're all chosen one. I am, you are, we all are. We're here to, 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 to save, save the earth from the bad people. <laughs> We're here to save the earth from the evil people. So uh, if we don't do it, who's going to do it? If you don't take action, if you don't start creating a better vibe, a better environment, more vibrant around you so people can pick it up and we have better uh, days here, it's, uh, it's coming, it's on the way. Then. What did I say yesterday? Uh, the moment, the day, the day we're going to remember who we are and how powerful we are as people, it's game over. It is game over. That's all we need to remember who we are and how powerful we are. But we're, we're not. Uh, it's a mindset. It's a mindset, I'm telling you. But most people don't have that uh, powerful mindset, that, str that strength. But then find people that have it, and they, they, they'll make you feel like uh, you should do something with your life. That's what I did at one point. I went to Les Brown, I li and he fucking whipped me to greatness, that guy. <laughs> That guy fucking whipped me to greatness. I'm telling you, and that's why I'm here. I Kim even Kim told me that she said you listen so much of Les Brown uh, for uh, about six months. The steady the Les Brown everyday motivational videos and just to redo that mindset. Uh, just to re I knew I was a man of action, but I had now I was go planning on going into the world, so I had to be very 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 strong, and that's what I went to do. And uh, today I'm not afraid to come here alone and eat a. Eat alone, and I know what I bring to the table, and I know the truth. So, are you afraid when you know the truth? No, you're not. You don't let nothing attain you. You become unshakable. You become unshakable. And the truth, again, I, I know who I am. I know what I came to do. And I know that the, this whole world is <laughs> upside down. So, yes, that's the truth. It's upside down. Yeah. It's inverted. It's more than that. Uh, but if we are collectively together focusing on something other than evil stuff what do you think is going to happen the, the the world's going to change <laughs> if you change the world's going to change <laughs> that's all we need to, to have a personal revolution like i told you yesterday it's just we don't put that personal revolution in place the moment you start putting your personal revolution and you are dedicated to not let go to, to really create that revolution that's going to probably change you, transform you. It's going to transform you. I kind of been, been transformed by the renewal of your mind. That's a renewal. That is what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't have the same. I don't think really the same. I think more for myself, you know, and it's very important. Before, I never had the, never questioned anything. Like, reality was what it was and but that's what also is very mysterious reality you know when we start talking about reality most people don't even want to but most people have a defined reality they have a defined reality so they're stuck in a defined reality that the like i said if you cannot perceive if you cannot overstand when i tell you that it's a lie if i tell you that my shirt is blue Forget about it. I can do nothing for you. You have to catch that little thing that I tell you when I tell you this is blue and it's a lie. 
What else is a lie? What else you've been told in your life that it's a lie? Just to control your mind. Because that's what it is. They say the, the, who they want to control and uh, uh, confuse? Eh? The children. Yeah, and it's us. They confuse us with nonsense. So the moment you take, you retake control of your mind, of your of your being, of your of your mind. Call it whatever you want. It's your brain, whatever is in there. <laughs> whatever is in there, once you start thinking for yourself, I don't know what's the mind really. It's to me it's the whole thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird talking about these stuff, mind and uh, but it's still there. Maybe we can uh, we can uh, use the word love. All we need is love. Now is the time to set things right or right. That's it. As pen mitre than swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pen. The pen is another uh, you know, we have the words, we have the the let's use them. Words, power, and sound, or or, or write, or uh, anything you can do to elevate humanity to uh, me. I'm gonna write a, a book soon. Uh, soon you're gonna have a book uh, coming from me, but uh, I'm waiting to uh I have other stuff to, to still work on to bring it to life, but uh, that's one of my projects. Uh, now I'm on the Rise and Shine uh, dub plate session for now. <laughs> I, oh, I'm always in project. You know, I put project in front of me. You grow from people in project. If you don't put project in front of you, uh, uh, how do you want to grow? Like I said, do you want to grow in life? Do you want to grow? If you want to grow, you, you're going to start leaving the TV and, and the, the nonsense, and you're going to focus on, on the life of... Uh, of designing a life of greatness, not a life of misery and uh, and uh, mediocrity. Like mediocrity is not necessarily mediocrity with money. Mediocrity of the mind. So people are. Some people are so mediocre with their mind, so mediocre with their mind, so crabby with life. Every fucking day they wake up, they're crabby at start, and I don't know. They can't find joy in life. I don't know what's <coughs> what's their. Uh, issue but some people that's it it's you know we have to learn everything even that life is worth living and once you discover that life is worth living do you think you're gonna go back to your dormant state never it's a shift it's a shift it's a shift so intense so so profound in you it's gonna transform you you don't know it's gonna bring you to places you've never been look look where i'm look where i ended up <laughs> look where I, I ended up with all this live and direct and i it's not because i have planned it there was no agenda at first i fuck i go with the moment i live in the moment and once i said oh me I, it's because one day I said I need I needed something more. I said to myself because that's what I tell you all the time on video. We need to stretch, need to stretch. And I said, oh, I need I need something more. I need something more. And then I said, uh, why not do live show every day? You know, and it's, and it's the best best. I it's the probably one of the best decisions I ever took in my life. <laughs> and it's the e easiest thing I probably ever done in my life is coming to talk uh, to you here. It's probably one of the easiest thing I uh, ever done in my life. But you know, just to trust yourself, to think you can do it, can be inspired, can be a, sometime could be a great, a big deal, or some of us could be a very big deal. But anyway, if you trust yourself, if you put, if you put yourself uncomfortable each and every day without freaking out, you don't need to freak out with this. I'm not whipping you to start freaking out. Relax. Take it easy. It's called life. Acknowledge what's going on. <laughs> Acknowledge what's going on, people. It's called life. Yeah. And it's sometimes high high and low highs. But we have to face life with boldness and give thanks for it. And give thanks and be grateful. Be grateful and, you know, we live in love and grace. That's what Mendy said before. I think we live in love and grace. But most people live in fear. <laughs> That's the thing with our world. Most people are shy and live in fear when they, we live in love and grace. Like I said, it's just never mind the, 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 the nonsense in bed. Never mind the nonsense in the world. You're here to win. Life wants you to win. Life wants you to take action. So never mind the outside world, whatever they tell you, whatever they, they said about you, whatever, whoever say shit about you, you know. Eh, just do your stuff. Do your stuff. Here for something, and you by taking action, by putting 
uh, crawling through shit a bit sometimes. It's good to have a hard time a bit in life through hard times, you know. If you have a bit of a hungry belly and an empty pocket, uh, you can wake up. Uh, it can bring you to a, a good experience. Uh. It's good to have an empty pocket sometimes. I mean, no money. Uh, to be, to, to be le, le, like, to be desperate, it's good sometimes. It's going to forge your character. And there's many of times, like in Vancouver, I had to go to food bank to feed myself le, because I was using my money to buy weed. So I had no money. I had to go to food bank to, to feed myself. But, uh, you know, I had to, to, to do what I had to do. And 30 days straight eating uh, rice with tomato soup because that's all I had. But that, I remember today. That I remember today. I did not cry to my mama. And, no, no, I remember today. And I that a lot of experience that I've done. The roofing job I've done there. You know, the roof in Vancouver are all like this. It's a, there's no a roof like here, like that, where you're very, somewhat comfortable on the roof. It's a roof like this. Mostly like this. So you're inside the, to the, the fucking plank. And you have to bring the fucking shit. On top with the ladder. Oh, that job. I did many jobs, many jobs that I did that I give thanks. I give thanks for it. Like every restaurant job that I've done, I started uh, washing dishes and ended up chef. Like I'm built for, I know it. I know it, but I started cultivating that young. I have that, I had that mindset young. 12 years old, I was working for the Draveur de Trois Rivières, giving water to the hockey player, the junior major hockey team. I was working there. I think I was 12. From 12 for about six years, I worked there. And I, I traveled everywhere in Quebec with the hockey team. You know, my mother let me go and I give thanks for that. Uh, but she knew that I was going to grow with that. That's an awesome experience. I give thanks for that so much in my life. You know, all the experience that I had made who I am today and started building that, that, you know, I started young building that drive, but that's what you got to do. But some people, I don't know, especially the younger generation today, they don't want to move. They have too much internet, too much distraction. And in my time, there was no internet, no, no distraction. So maybe we were more into action. The mindset was more into action. Today, they're a zombie, a zombie generation. It's a zombie generation. And they're going to lose. It's a spiritual suicide happening very, very young, younger than ever before in our society today because <laughs> of all the freaking nonsense and the parents are sleeping tight. Parents are babies and, you know, everyone's in a baby state. <laughs> so, anyway. What are you saying? One man Christ already changed the world. One woman, the bride, will lead us back to sanity. Simple plan. Men don't want to allow a woman to lead. Too bad it will happen. <laughs> Yeah, but women are very, it's very, the divine feminine to me, I always had the tremendous uh, respect and uh, women intimidate me, honestly. No? But here, I, like at the beginning, I was a bit intimidated to see all of you coming here no? I, because women intimidate me and because I look up to women, I look up to women a lot and I respect women a lot and I have a a very, very and that, a deep admiration for the divine feminine. So when I have woman for the, the, I told that to Cindy once. I get very intimidated, yeah, because uh, me because I have respect and I have a uh, also I'm a deep empath. <laughs> so that made me feel uh, stuff on the deep level. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, come on, for sure. Dude. I'm already very rich, rich in love, rich in life. That's all we need. That uh, yeah, for sure. New meaning to the games we played growing up, like snakes and ladders. Mo, mon, mon, opali, mon, opali. I'm already very rich, truly wealthy from experience. Met thousands of people over 40 years singing carry. Oh, that's so amazing. They know me. I'm kind, funny, nothing to fear, just love. Red, that's so amazing. I love to hear that. You know, but that's what that that's a living soul. Red Rose, that is a living soul. She's been a singer for so many years. I think that's your story. And uh, that's it, a big singing career. So people remember her. They, that's what I'm telling you. You we have to inspire each other. We have to inspire each other just to have. You know, just to be more positive, it's already 
a big thing. And if we can find people that are positive, uplifted, have a great vibe and give thanks for life and are grateful for life, you're going to end up uh, cultivating that same energy because it's just an energy I'm giving you here. It's an energy. We share energy. We, Yeah, no. I do collage and scrap maps and moon boards. As for me, the dog, as, as for me, I'm the dog, the bark, and indeed my lead. That's it. But yeah, for sure. We get a lead. Lead our ship. Only some called for this pet. Some won't wake. Will die to get there. We must learn to live forever here now. So 500, 900 years of age, most doable. Yeah. Attitude, gratitude, and platitude. <laughs> Two degrees of separation, or is it three? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Mandy's on fire again. Mandy, you really touched me the other day with your stuff. No? Why does fragile mean handle with care? Lyrics from my tune, why lament? Why does fragile means and though with care, yeah, that's what they put on the box. Eh? And though with care, yeah, I'm just reading your comment. True story, my friend. I come here to help lift you. Oh no, I can, uh, I can. Uh, that I feel it because there's some of you. Uh, some of you are really uh, awesome strength giver. Okay, that's what you're doing here. And uh, Cindy, Red Rose, Mandy, uh, Suzanne, Leslie. I can name it Martin uh, Bozo, là. Bozo Leclun. Il est-tu là, Bozo, à matin? <laughs> Bozo Leclun. Uh, tout ça, là, vous êtes vraiment des, des, des strength givers. Strength giver, and uh, that's what we must do with each other. And that's what it is when you start living for others, you're going to start giving strength to other people. Because you're going to realize that living for others is living again. And that's true, people. Bob said that. Huh? It's so true. Because that's what will keep you alive. You know, that that's what will bring joy to your heart. It brings joy to my heart to just give, just give and be here and share those moments with you. It's a, like, Kim Kim said, you could even, you know, you could even start something and, uh, you know, make a business with that. But that's not really my intention. I just want to give back. I just want to give back. And that's why I say I'll be here. And uh, it's like, yes, it's a coaching session. But like I said, we all need it. We all need some coaching. We all need some more, uh, some more uh, vitality, some more, uh, more vibe, just more vibe in our life. Be more positive and be, uh, realize that we live in love and grace. And that's so true. Dude. And you know, there's nothing to fear here. There's no meteorite that's going to come and hit Earth and destroy Earth or solar flares. All that shit is to make us, put us in fear. We live in love and grace. We're divinely protected. <laughs> most, people don't have, most people don't even have a clue about that, that there we are divinely protected. No, because they think we think we live on a big fucking boss hurtling through space, <laughs> potentially been hurt by, I don't know how many meteorite or those big rocks out there. They say, I don't know how they call them. Uh, they have so much, so much weird names, uh, but they have so much fantasy for us. Uh, that, that's what it is. Uh, crazy. You know, we live in love and grace. There's no fear here. Nothing, uh, nothing will destroy the earth. Uh, the earth's always been here. <laughs> So what's that thing that the earth will be destroyed and that there will be no more water or going on a water shortage? Or there's too much people, overpopulation. Isn't it a freaking joke? Like, oh, this is manipulation. It's manipulate our minds to manipulate the reality and what we experience because most of the matrix reality that's happening that people are experiencing is through that box. Either the TV, the TV mainly is the matrix. The the matrix you have it on TV and you have it uh, on on the on the internet. So, yeah. So for me, it's very clear that the, the you know the matrix is in the mind of people. And then for sure, I feel it when I go to the bank, but.
Yeah, yeah, by teaching you to lift yourself. By teaching you, you too, lift your. Oh, yeah, for sure, I lift myself. For sure, come on. It's both ways, the motivation, it's both ways. Le. It's not uh, me, I benefit from this, le, big time, le. big time benefit from this. Le. Come on. For sure, le, I feel uplifted all the time. I, I attack my day with, uh, with greatness and then... Uh, not only with greatness, but with more uh, serenity towards the pain. More serenity towards the pain, because I'm in pain all fucking day long. So I got to deal with it. So I got to find something. And I found YouTube, so I'm not going to let go of something that helped me kill the pain and help me stay focused and help me find out, find out why I'm here and what kind of mission I'm on and all this. So come on. It's the greatest time to be alive. It's the greatest time to be alive. Don't commit spiritual suicide. Find out who you really are through experiences, through experiences, what you think you're going to discover it in a freaking book, who you are, on TV, on the internet. Go out in life, have experience, crawl through shit. You know, put yourself outside of your comfort zone. That's how you're going to discover who you really are and what you're made of. You want to know what you're made of or you don't want to know? If you don't want to know, stay comfortable. But if you want to know what you're made of deep down inside, you're going to go outside your comfort zone each and every day of your life. The moment the moment you, you realize that, hey, whoa, that's my life. From that moment, it's just a non-folding. You're going to unfold like a Mandela, like I said the other day. And you, you're going to start showing true colors and showing who you are and who you really are, not just showing. Who... And yesterday, I was thinking on show. And there's two meaning also in the true man show. Because every true man, true man or true woman will show. You know what I mean? We'll show, we'll go into act. If you're true, you will show up. You know, so there's like two meaning uh, to that true man show. I was thinking about that and I'm like, yeah, every true man show, show love, show gratitude, show, uh, show stuff, <laughs> go into action. It's not only about talking about it, it's about showing it. Show love. We need more love. Yeah, so, uh, or they drain our battery up and down in the fridging lift all day like many Mongo and Midge. Yeah. In return, we lift. Right, and they exactly. Only as long this goes on. Dragging me down. Bad juju got to go. It's an abundant universe. Manifest. It's only manifest. All you got to do is manifest. Manifest, but that's up to you. That's up to you, and it's true, Suzanne. Manifest. That's all you need to do. Manifest. Man or woman, whatever. I don't think there's big difference. But there's a difference. <laughs> I don't think it's so big, the difference in between us. It's, uh, no, pretty Pretty close. I feel it close, but it, yeah, it's abundant universe. It, there's, there's abundance and there's magic in the world for those who are willing to get in touch with it. But like I get, again, like I said, you don't come here with a, you you have a ticket for the freak show or you can take a ticket for the dream of life. So you you take the ticket you want. It's your, they sell a lie at the freak show in Babylon. That's a freak show. All kinds of people telling lies, a big deception. You have a ticket for that. They give it to you as birth. At birth, they give you a ticket. It's called the birth certificate. It's your death certificate. And if you stick to it, well, you remain you remain dead all your fucking life. So it's up to you to wake up and to realize who you are. And then nobody will do it for you. And the universe will provide for you, providing that you have done your part. But you cannot sit on your ass and hoping you're going to have a slice, slice of the cake without doing nothing, you know? But we all have a slice of the cake. We should all have a slice of the cake. But none of us, to have a slice of the cake, you got to go into action and use your slice. But, you know, it's simple for me. Né? Freak show is over. That's it. Freak show is over. Let go of the freak show of Babylon. Né? The freak show in the new... The YouTube, YouTube is another freak show. Me, I've let go of YouTube. Né? I watch uh, music on YouTube or... Uh, 
fishing video. Sometimes I like to watch a guy. He goes fishing, urban fishing. It's a big channel. The guy, he has a big channel. And he goes urban fishing. And I like that. I like to, I like his accent. I like the way he talks. And he's funny. So that, but I don't watch uh, uh, fanatic, truth fanatics because you cannot seek the truth. You cannot seek the truth on YouTube. Most people that are, are seeking truth on YouTube are lost because you seek a more fantasy. That's what you're seeking, more fantasy, more illusion to fill your misalignment. I realize that. Now I'm out of this shit. I'm done with the freak show. The freak show is over. They can uh, keep their freak show for themselves. I'm done with the freak show and uh, the, the nonsense. And not only the freak show, it's the distraction. It's distract you. YouTube at one point, uh, me, it came and distract me. It was a distraction for me. I realized today because today I realized that the, the, the real truth, the real stuff, it's, it's within me. It's within me, but I had to grow. I had to grow to that process. I had to talk about that flat earth and all that stuff to come to realize what I tell you today. If I wouldn't, and I'm never going to erase those videos. They're going to stay there forever. I'm never erasing any video from the moment I came here. I always left all the video there because I want you to, to see that it's possible to grow. It's possible to clear the confusion. It's possible to see the big picture. So... And I don't regret nothing, nothing, any video that I've made, like every video that I've made, I've watched them. First of all, I watch each and every single video because I like it. I like to, like I said, the only video I watch probably is me and uh, some other stuff that you guys put or... Uh, but no, I'm very, very focused today. I'm done with the freak show for YouTube freak show. And uh, oh, it's so much. It's a, that's a real freak show, YouTube. Look, it's a, that's what I realized. And it's all about ego and self-obsession and numbers and inflating the ego and shit. So I've realized that. Look, I, I know where I know where I know where I am. Look. I know where I am on YouTube, look, but I'm not letting myself uh, drown in the, in the circus i don't want my life to be a circus so i'm not gonna go into their cult and and nonsense freaking shit that they think they're gonna save the world on youtube they're all seeking more fantasy more illusion cgi 1.0 to cgi 2.0 oh we have a new map oh the earth hey, it's so fucking nonsense we're so childish they're so childish with the truth so so it's terrible we're like children in a playground Children in a playground, that's what we are. And then we're fed a bit more fantasy and we get all excited. Eh? We get all excited and we start propagating all the nonsense. There's one thing that I'm glad I never really done and it's propagating their nonsense, the, the maps and the, like I was capable to sense that there's no curve. Everyone can see there's no curve to the earth. It's a mathematical curvature. It's, it's clear to me. Eh? That's for sure. Eh? It's a myth. There's, nobody has ever seen it, but the whole reality construct that we're fed on YouTube everywhere. Now, oh, we're going to teach it in school. We're going to teach flat in school. Let's indoctrinate the kids now into flat earth. Like, so nonsense. The whole shit is built with lies. The whole, the whole society in is engineered around lies. Like, everything is fantasy. So move out. Let go of the freak show. Let the freak show for the freak people. They love it. They love it. Let, leave them in their fantasy. Do your thing. L remove those toxic influence and toxic thoughts. And just by letting go of the freak show, I'm telling you, you're going to feel better. Because that's what they are. Freaking psychopath freak. Uh, I don't know. They like power. and they, Me I, me, me here, uh, I, I, I use the power of love, not the love for power. You know, the day that we will transcend the... the <laughs> The, the power of love, the love of the love for power, for the power of love, and use the power of love. And things are gonna change. Come on, come on. But do we really want it to change? That's the question. Do these people really want it to change? So it's up to us by collectively making a change, personal revolution. We are the numbers. We are the millions. They are, you know, the the all the 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 royalties and the, they are in minority compared to us. It's a, we are energizing their madness. Most of it, most we are. You know, we're so unaware that even we are doing stuff for them and probably stuff that they don't do themselves. Some kind of rituals that they don't do or they don't, so they let the the the, the sheep do it, <laughs> or the people that uh, that are sleeping more. And I don't know how to really qualify uh, the living dead, the living dead. But even that, but they're living. 
I don't know. It's the unawareness. It's the unawareness. People are unaware. Unaware, and that can take your life away. That's going to make you commit a spiritual suicide. It's going to... Because also you're going to... Many, many times also what happens in our society, and especially around my age, is people are so misaligned that they fall into alcohol. Alcohol and drugs and or, or uh, gambling or uh, any kind of freaking shit to cover your misalignment. Me, I know I'm very, very centered. Very, I don't need no gambling, no nothing. I don't want to know nothing of the madness. All I need is more focus. All I need is more focus, and that's what I'm cultivating here. And I'm making sure that uh, I remain in that state of mind and that focus. So the moment, you, like I said, the moment that you decide to decide, things are going to change. Things are going to change for the better, but you got to decide. You got to decide to stretch. For sure. They live, we sleep. <laughs> yeah. They live, we sleep. Folk talk negative, put in past like was, I'll now better, or I used to blah, 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 now stop and work like like no can, would, wouldn't, couldn't. If negative pops out, these say cancel, then drop it, stop it. I got it. <laughs> stop saying suicide, Janik. Get a new word, bro. Uh, suicide, but that's. But it is a spirit by a spiritual suicide again. Is it? Uh, I think it's uh, what you're committing. Okay, might but might not be a suicide. But it's uh, okay. So then, if you're so if you're not okay, I agree a bit with you. But I gotta reflect on this. Hold on. If you're not committing spiritual suicide. then you're avoiding life. We're avoiding life. We're in avoidance. Okay, so we'll use the word avoidance, I think. Self-arming. Self, yeah, I agree with you. We got to find another word for that. But self, uh, no, self-arming, I like that. Then it, because now also many of us are uh, thinking once we involve the self, we think self-obsession. I think it's, to me, uh, there is a self, I'm here, but I just don't be obsessed about it. That's the only thing. But sabotage might be better. Sabotage, sabotage. Yeah, sabotage, sabotage. Great word. I'm going to use that from now. We're in the, okay, in the spiritual sabotage. Would it work? Spiritual sabotage, because I use that often. I use that often, spiritual suicide, and I agree with you. It's not really positive. So sabotage, because there is something inside us though that sabotage those internal drive. I told you that in the past. So sabotage is better, yeah. Sabotage, yeah, I like that block, yeah, 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 yeah. Remove that word from society, bad, very negative. Yeah, that's true. No, I agree with you. I But uh, you see, you, you come and teach me stuff. <laughs> that's twice this week that you come and tell me stuff like, that, uh, yeah, no, it's I'm very open and I'm servant and sabotage is better. So don't sabotage yourself, you know, don't sabotage yourself because that's what we do. We sabotage the, 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 the greatness and all the great vibes. So yeah, I agree with you, Red, that's better. It's more positive because then, yeah, because if you suicide, you can come back, you're dead. So at least if you sabotage, you can undo the sabotage. You know, it's possible to undo the sabotage and just, I don't know, me, me, I think everyone deserves a second chance. We all deserve a second chance with life. We all, you know, sometimes it's just we... I fall back into some sabotage, some programming and stuff. But the moment we decide to take ownership, it's game over. It's game over. The freak show's over. I'm telling you, the moment you take ownership, you start working on your stuff, and you you have to, to, to work each and every day to create a living soul, to stay aligned, stay focused, you're going to let go of the freak show, the nonsense of the world, all the illusion, and yeah, the freak show's going to be over. I'm telling you, it's the be and it's going to be the best feeling of your life to, be, to not be distracted, and even sometimes you got to get to the point, okay? Because this is what happened with us. We don't enjoy our solitude. So we go plug ourselves in front of TVs and anything to distract us. But the moment, the moment you're comfortable 
with yourself, that you can deal with yourself. You will not be defaulting into distraction the moment in the moments that you're alone with yourself. Like there's times that I'm just lying down on the couch because my knee hurts, so I'm lying down on the couch, but I don't put on the TV or I don't put on music or nothing. I just stay with myself, I enjoy my solitude, I think, and I reflect of things that I'm going to tell you here. I reflect of our state of mind. Of a, that's what I do. But, uh, you know, I don't have distraction when I'm, I don't default to the TV to program my mind. Uh, but this is what people do. They love TVs. They have six, seven TVs in their house. And uh, they think that's the, 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 that's the way to go. You know, energize the matrix. You know, energize the matrix. That's what you need. TVs and radio and everything to, to because that's where the matrix come out. It comes out from the radio of your car, the radio of your house, the TV of your house, the computer. This is where it's sustained. Because before the internet, were we talking about matrix anywhere? No. People weren't talking about Matrix in my younger days. I've never heard about stuff like that. We started to hear about Matrix and shit like that, and the movie came and this and that, when all those freaking boite images came into uh, into the, the into life. Well, once they brought that uh, TV and all that stuff, this is where the mate. So the Matrix is, if we stop, unplug, unplug, pull the Babylonian plug. I think I told you that in my 10th video. At the beginning, told you that. Pull the Babylonian plug. Ivar was laughing. <laughs> I remember Ivar used to like that one. He said, that's so true. He said, uh, that's Chinese. Ivar, I think, at the beginning, too, had a bit of uh, of TV influence or stuff. And even movies, they're like, uh, everything is cut off for me. Le. For me, le, everything is cut off. I cut off completely all the, t all the distraction because I realized that it was taking... First of all, my mind away from stuff that I had to focus on, <laughs> greatness, and not only that, the magnificence that I wanted to bring outside of, uh, outside of me for once in my life. So I had to start focusing. Yeah, very important. Second, third, fourth, thousand try, never give up, always try. You cannot fail. If you keep in mind that you're trying, but never, never get to a point that, ah, uh, like, you're still trying. You're still trying. You're, you're never going to fail. You can't fail. It's magic in a way. All words are magic spells. Yeah, exactly. I know, but uh, that's what we have to talk to each other. So, human destructive by nature. Self-destruction is good. Self-destruction instead of spiritual suicide. Self-destruction. We're on self-destruction mode. Self-destruction mode. There you go. We got it. The self-destruction mode. That's what we're on. Yeah, Cindy also true. In the in the beginning was the word, and it manifested. Yeah, for sure. All words are made by for sure, for sure. It's a grammaire, grimoire, invocation des démons, <laughs> Demo. invoke demons. That's what it means. Like grammaire, the the grammar. Pretty fucking sick, eh? <laughs> invoke demons. And we have to demon, demonstrate. That's another word I have very big problem. I never use. It's demonstrate because demon ate. Like it's such a word that when you start decorticating the words, then find the true. That's a lot of the matrix also is in the words. Then that's true. Then maybe the matrix wasn't on the computer, but was in the words, was in the programming, was in the. You know, the matrix always there. But I mean, we we started feeling it. Really, when the screens come into play, but before there was still the matrix because there was the the, the programming with the with the software with the language. So uh, only that was sustaining the matrix also. So the matrix always been maybe now it's more virtual. Before the matrix was more organic, <laughs> like the matrix was more organic before. Now it's more virtual and it's really a uh, full force then because. People are being lobotomized. Lobotomized completely in front of TVs because it's a, it's filled with lies. Filled with lies, filled with fakery. It's, the news are fake. Uh, everything is fake and people can't cannot even perceive it. And day after day, they default to it. Default to the news. Default because they need some kind of sensationality in their life because they have nothing to bring sensation in their life. You know, start sensing life. You're going to have sensation. Hello. 
Am I the only one feeling this shit here, Lou? I don't think so, eh? Yeah. Fail to plan, then plan to fail, but also be spontaneous and synchronistic, man. That's awesome what she says there, Lou. Synchronistic men I fest. You see what she says? That's exactly what I told you the other day. The synchronicity you created in your life. That's where I'm telling you life is magic. Because you create your synchronicity. You're going to sync your life. If you use your mind to the to the right uh, with the right power, with the right strength, you're going to synchronize stuff in your life. That's where I'm telling you life is magic. It's magic. But if you're not willing to see it, if you're not willing to see... The magic in the world, you might never see it, but give yourself the chance to see it. Like sink, start sinking stuff, but stop being distracted first. First, you have to stop being distracted because that takes all your mighty power away. Man. The distraction, the nonsense, clear that. Go for six months, a year, no TVs, nothing, just empowering stuff. If you listen stuff on TVs, or make sure it's empowering, that it's bringing you back to life some way. Man. Motivational speakers, inspirational speaker, whatever you find, people that uh, can put you back on track. Lou. We all need a second chance here. Lou. Failed to plan. Did it start with the word word or was it it started with the word I am? We fill in the rest for the best. But yeah, it filled yeah. the words. The words. Does a child born in nature learn grammar? Honestly. Is it absolutely necessary to communicate? Yes, it may be more civilized maybe to have language, to have stuff, but a child born in nature uh, still communicate with nature. And we would probably, I don't know, find a way to communicate. Like I, we have voices. I cannot uh, imagine for one moment that I wouldn't have made sounds or something. So maybe, you know, it's a spell. Yes, yeah, spell. But it's the way also it's been perverted, all the language and the, the w but we would, like there's language less, the most language we have in the world that program people, it's English. English is the, the main program. Okay, then French is very similar to, and then Spanish, the, the Latin language you know, are there to, to really install that program. To, to control the reality with the words, you know, the, sometimes the, you just look at horizon, the word horizon, and the word horizontal. Why is it like that? But well, that's it. It's horizontal. There's no fucking curve. <laughs> but we don't see it. You know, things like that. I've never seen this in my life. One day I woke up and I said, horizon, horizontal. i never seen it. But we don't. We don't. We don't. We're blind. Blind, 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 blind. Blind, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Om, vibrational word. Om. 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 In the yard, Truman Show, come for shine. Hey, Johnny, good play, good music. Come select and make the vibes. Play the chart. Old school and foundation. Good senses get to know you. We sell love and affection. Well, this original Piero Dreadless right about now. Come for support the Truman Show. <laughs> 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 When this original hero dreadless right now, come to support the Truman Rising Shine. Yeah. Big up Janik. Kai push the vibes. Chanting down Babylon system. I pick the love. Yeah, but yeah. Every time I see that, the information is so dangerous. In the name of privacy. Well, they confusing people just for them abuse. But the problem got solution, I see. Each and everyone can do this again. Get ready for the revolution. Get ready for food and refreshing. So switch up the beat. Tune in through on the radio. Go on the web to know the situation. I said, big up, Johnny. It's the only way to keep to be free. Switch up to me. Tune in to my radio. Go find the internet to know the situation. I said, freedom of speech is the only way 
to give to me free. To give to me free, no. To give to me free. Every time I see that, you know, corruption is the worst one beast. It's the same old story. I only clean my space. And double trouble on the price they win. Yeah, the true man and his work in progress. Let's stop the suffering. Know the Joe will tell us. Let's stop the fighting. Got them far from ignorance. So switch up to me. Turning true man on the radio. Go on the web to know the situation. I say freedom of speech is the only way to keep to be free. Switch up to me. Turning true man on the radio show. Go on the internet to know the situation. Freedom of speech. Is the only way. Hey, hey. You know this hero dreadless right about now. Come to support the True Man Rise and Shine project. Yeah, we got Janik. Then push the good vibes. Uh -huh. Chanting down Babylon system. Not <coughs> if you love. But ragga dagga dagga ding dang day. Ding dang day. Well, this original Piero Dreadless right about now, and I'm tuning to True Man Reggae Show Motivation Academy. It's every day on YouTube channel, Upliftment and Progress at 7 a.m. Don't miss it. Piero. So, he's out. Live and direct. Have a wonderful day. Rise and shine. Live your big story. What else? I love those. I like that one. That's for Martin. See ya. I'm out. Rise and shine in your dreams. Don't let life stress you out and uh, take you out. Rise and shine. I'm out.